that. But I'm on a secondary point here. On these local clear water lakes and I found a school of spots. Whew. I'm out here in about thigh deep water as well, freezing my butt off. But you can't catch them if you don't go. And listen to what I just said again. Cannot catch them if you do not go. It's going to rain for the next like three days here. But hey, if I, if I can get out here before the water gets too rough and awful, I'm going to... I'm going to do it. Hopefully I'll get a hook up here pretty quick. I went back and got the camera because I wasn't sure. I was kind of just filling this spot out. And uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm sure many of you will instantly know what lake I'm talking about. All right, I just got just sh smashed right then. I'm going to give him some wine, let him eat it. And uh, see what happens here. All right, I got weight, got fish. No, oh, and it pulls off. These spots, mouths are so small. Actually, I can see my shad swimming on top of the water out there. Boom, you see him just get eat. So I'm gonna have to, I may swap to a circle hook and let them eat it. Or go to a smaller shad here. I said them spots got a little bit smaller mouth. I'm using these giant thread fin actually. I got them at the getting place here. Make sure this cat here is gonna stay alive. Get him back out on that point. Don't think I got that one out there for now, but we'll see what happens here. Hopefully they're schooled up pretty thick. They're pre-spawn up here still. The water temps are crap. It feels like they're in the low 50s up here. Up here in God's country. We'll see what happens. I don't know if this shad's gonna kick make it or not. He was not the best of shape there. But anyway, again, changed it up a little bit. Tried to get me some big old spots. There's a little point up here I know, know a little bit about, and so we're going to try it out. It's a long, long drive to get there, though. I guarantee you that. You got to go up and around and over the hills and through the woods to backside of a uh, creek we go. I ain't going to say the name of the creek because then you'll know exactly where I'm standing at. Anyway, we'll see how this works out. Let me get a... This, I don't think a shad's good and alive. Caught one already. You're at it about three and a half. He's kicking, so we're good. Oh, boom, boom. He's trying to get eat. He's getting eat. Again, pop the bell, give him some line. Give him a second to eat it. And I'm going to try to reel this in to where you can see the fish jump. All right, there he is. There he is jumping. I hope y'all seen that. Come on. This looks like a largemouth. It is a largemouth. Hmm. Come here. He has got a hook in him. I want you to look at this. Come here, come here. Don't jump off. He's already dang schooled somebody, look. Look at the chunk. Now look at the tail. It's got a little red on the tail. That fish has not spawned out yet. Hmm. I just saved your life. We'll get that hook back in there. I should have thrown that in the bucket. Let me pick that up here in a minute because I don't want to get over and step on it. But that is a chunk, a little chunk right there. That fish may have spawned out already. Anyway, back in the water. All right, that was a great video. Let's try doing this again here. I'll start her up when uh, I hook up again.